Yes, we want to remove Museveni's regime. We don't pretend about it because it is illegitimate. It has violated every constitutional principle. And it's upon us to remove that regime. Article 3 of the Constitution empowers us to do what we have to do to restore our constitutional order. So we are within the Constitution. If you disagree with us, if you think we are breaking the law, we are ready to face the courts of law. I want to also reiterate that the police has no right to give any permission as indicated in their letter. We are only required to notify them and we continue to notify we have notified them in the past and we shall continue to notify them we don't seek for your permission mr kasigazi because you have no power to permit us we have that right within the law and we shall continue exercising it i also want to reassert that the police is not a court if they claim that we committed any offenses like defamation or promoted, or promoted sectarianism, then let them go to court. We shall meet them in court. I want to remind the country and to debunk their tribal talk. You all have been seeing me live with my team. We have given the same message to every, every region in the country. The same message in Ankole, the same message in Toro, the same message in Busoga, the same message in the north, and the same message here in Uganda. It's only when we came here in Uganda that, is, that they decided to brand us sectarian. But it's the same message that we have been giving. And you all notice that those who practice tribalism and sectarianism get very scared when we condemn tribalism and sectarianism. Museveni and his regime are the masters of tribalism and sectarianism. And this is an issue that they've intimidated every Ugandan not to talk about. Well, not Shagulan. It is time, I think, ladies and gentlemen, that our country has a frank and honest discussion about tribalism and sectarianism. As a country, we must address that issue and we must address it now. We must address the issue of mass land grabbing in Greater Luero and many other parts of Usoga, in Bunyoro, and in the north of Uganda. I want to assure the people that we shall reach them everywhere. We shall come to you. Don't be intimidated by these criminals because they are not enforcing the law, but they are only trying to ensure that the regime survives. I want to thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, I want to Oloku jano le roto wa galu kwa mukisa gono kuli sayo vana febo na bonna jetu wa bade mo nationwide mo nationwide tour tuli basa nyofunyo ah uh, era tu sanyo kira tuwe baza yonaba ba na yuganda ba tuani riza ni sanyo ah uh, tu tuwe baza ba ntu bomo angole jetu ali embarara tuwe baza ba ntu be fort porto mutoro tuwe baza abantu be kase se mruenzoli tuwa galu kwa baza ba ntu be mayugembusoga abantu be busia mubukedi tuwe baza abantu be mbali mubugisu na abantu be lira mulango tuwa galu kwa baza ba ntu be luweru mubuganda na abantu be hoima mubunyoro tuwa galu no kwa baza na manyi abantu ba arua mwes nail oloku tuwa niliza no mkwano milioni ne milioni ne milioni za ba ntu basebo ne banyabo mala bebo batu wa niliza nge mitualo ne mitualo Jitu waniriza mbulichitundu uche tutuka mu. Echono te chitu wala likely. Mweba lenyo vanangi, mweba lile dala. Yona, yona jetu watu use. Mala binti ya bantu, watu waniriza nesanyu. Ngate waniriza fenga ya bantu wabaze. Wabula nga waniriza meseji. E ye nchuka chuka, meseji ukwe nunula. Elaba chumeki ze kiria, tibako ye museve ni ne government ye, e yaba bi, e yaba temu. Kutuwa niza kwa fe, kwa ala ze, chetuo gira ko, chetuo gira feka, wabula ne guanga liona, imiri dena fe. Tuwa galo kaka saa, abobo na jetuwa naba kutuka, titujia patu kako, mungeri emu, obendala, edamu tulindi lide, tulimukubo tuja. Um, echo kubiri.
Choku vili ah, Abantu bewe kabari mbeba ziza Saa sima vini Abantu bewe wame mbeba ziza Saba sebo kutu mokutu weba liza Abantu bewe kabari mchigezi Olokutu wa niliza no mkwano Weba li munonga abantu wa kabari Abantu wa chigezi Ay, Choku vili njaga lanyo ah, Okwano kula e, Barua ebiri Situa afunye okuva mpolisi Nge bili za tusindi kiridua Mwami Nuwajira John Aa, Nukwa nukula Echi wandi kocha polisi Echa saini gidua mwami tumusime Kasigazi Nga yuno ya miuka Mbu ya miuka Omudumizi wa polisi Na imu ina mumanyi aniadumira polisi um, Barua ya soka Jetu afunanga msambu septemba Bari bage zako Okuteka we mbozi Nti abatuju Baga la kutemula anze Nolo ensonge yo Tuimirize nkunga na zafe Kubanga bafunye ubaka Nti abatembaga la kutemula Baganda bange mwena Muze mula ba abantu abage zako kutemula Nga bata andikira dala emiake tano No mwezi gumu No luna kurumu Nga kumi na satu Omwezi gumu nana Mwarua Ubage zako kuntemula esasi ni kuata driver wange Yesi ni kauma Bage zako kuntemula Ngatuli mkampaini esasi ni haita wakati wange Neone bozake Era baze bage zako kusala entoto Izo kulaba angabatu jao Tuafuna information Okuwa mbifo evye sigika Ntibali bage zako tutemulira kabari Era information yu tuze tujifuna Era na mwemuala baba Saja batali mu uniform ya polisi Obaya maje Ngaba ba, ba, bamba galide Bamba lide emige mirawala Ngaba tuamburi ya kumpi Mwala bano msaja Kamera kwe zako atanga Geza kukujawe pisto na maana ajizayo So tumanyi Ntimwe abasaja bamu seveni Mwe mge zako kuntemula Tewali mutumula laena Na imu manye chinzo kudako Sija chiru mamwechu Bagamba Ntibali bafunye intelligence Ntibali wo abali bagalo tutemula Of course chue unisa Kumanga yinkola ya abwe Ababasajia Okuwa retuwa ala angiri ya ntitu genda kutandi Kukutala ke guanga Bata andi kila wo kwe, kwe furu kutala Kusala amagezi Ngabageza ako ukulaba engeli jeba sobola Okutule mesa Awebai iza echibozi echa terrorism Na inga buli omu kumwe Amanyi echikende lua chabwe Echikende lua chabwe kukuteka o kutia Mwa na Uganda Basobolo kufuna ensonga yonayona Etule mesa ugena maso na inteka teka za fe Na hila teche unisa Chino Bachi taandikira dala kufada Uboso miye bitabo vyabwe Nga mwemuline chaka zola Uja kulaba anti Fia ne terrorism Mwami Museveni Neba yekira bane Chebako ze sango kuteka okutia mumitima jaba na Uganda. Chanaku, titebaina chebaize, ila tebaina chebeira bide, uluwanyu malo miya kasatu musambu, bacha akola, evi ntubi evi mu. Wakua fi generation ya fi, atembu, funyo, ere manyi, obukodi oba, wipo na. So, njaga le chufula, very clear, basebo nebanyabo. Nti, fe, butuwa wandi kila police, tetuwa jiwandi kila kujisa baru kusa. Neda, tuwaba wandikira kubategeza Kuwanga tewali teka liona Mwuma teka ka Uganda Lituetagisa kusabalu kusa Polisi, okola betu ino okola Mustatement ya mwami kasigazi Ye fude awela Evi korwa, evi limateka Evi echibina, echobu kulembeze Echi limateka Njaga loka kasa mwami kasigazi Nabobo 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 Bila girebio na bia bumenyi buwa mateka Buliche tukola chiri mateka Hela tuja gena maso nga tuchikola Bemba mwagalo kutukirize temu uli mbade muteka teka Kubana Uganda Nsiyo na yona Iba tunu ulide Nete tugenda kugobele ya bila girebio na Bia bumenyi buwa mateka Njagalo kujukiza mwami kasi gazinti Taina buhinza Kuwela bikolwa, bili mateka, bikolwa bia chini na cha mfuzi, echiri mateka, echi wandi ise. Mwenamu labi enti abantu wafibaba deba dembe, yonayo na jetuba de. Ela chonge doka kase guanga, nti, ule wabela wakavuyo, polisi, yebele karese. Polisi wabate koze kavuyo, tuwabela kavuyo. Ama jewe wabate koze kavuyo, tuwabela kavuyo. Tewari, chizibu chona chona, chabadeo. Mungkunga nazo naze tukubie okumala kumpi wiki sato Tewari kavuyo kona kona kabadeo Ngabala bie ngabage zako kwe siwa kwa accident Eyabade ehoima 
na ye yo purely accident yo kulugudo era twagala okubagiza family ya muganda wafe oyo ya gende de moyo accident bayo gede ne kuchoko nona traffic ne chokusiba amakubo njagala baganda bange mwena mwena a okumanya okujukira nti chache unyu abantu ataba blocking ngudu okuvumilia fe abata blocking ngudu muze mu abamu m7 abana be nabo abamu lya mungalu ngabazi bengudu mwala bani mula bani m7 bulijjo ngaziba engudo zo mu kibuga wakati kubanga agenda okuza birthday mula bye mutabani wa m7 nga blocking engudo mu kibuga makati ya agenda kuza birthday mula bye neba criminal abazi be misango abamanyikidwa ngaba blocking engudo Kateli haba gamba ko. Kate polisi mchifucho kubwa gamba ko. Ate ngekuma haba kume. Na ya tefe haba kula ebili mateka. Polisi begeza ko kwe kwa asa. Echono chabu suavu. Tuwa galaba ganda bange. Ero kubate geza. Ntimweyo statement ya mwami kasigazi. Bobo jisomi. Te saundi nganga ya polisi. Wabule saundi ngange vude kuchitebe cha NRM. Njaka lukuwa mami kasiga za magezi. Ntichandi bade chiru nji na jamu uniformu ya polisi. Na agena nebamu deployinga kuchitebe cha NRM. Na abo gerela. Kubanga enkoze sayebi gambo. Nga mob mentality. Obaba yae. Nga bullying. Na tu describing. Na tu nyonyoranga ba radicals. Nebi lale vifana na buwebitu. He yari mkuzanya biya bufuzi biya NRM. So si kwa atisa mateka. Mami kasiga zi jamu uniformu ya fe. Ogende ba kuwa umulimu ku NRM. Of course sobo la kwela bila kweba za Haba kule mbeze na haba sirikale na haba polisi Haba kumye dembe wiki esa tu ezi ise Katino tuba saba muleme koze sebwa Ate kwa ono nalinya di mbade mwe kore de Let me say that again in English I want to salute the police officers and the UPDF officers That have been law abiding They've respected the law They've not violated any human rights They've not created any chaos and I beseech you not to be used by these criminals that are clearly on their way out. Um, Mami Kasigazi, ya genze maso, nga ye fula, ye investigator, ye prosecutor, ate ye mulamuzi. Kubanga buwajia, na tusaliru musango, nituwa vumiride Mami Museveni, nituwa yogede kubusoso ze mawanga, Mwami kasigazi, gwe, ne polisi, temu inabu yinza, kusala musangu. Bobo olaba, ngatu ine teka li tuwa menye. Wali uo ekote za mateka. Gena mkoti, wabatu gule kwa musangu, tusinka ne mkoti, tuwele nembe na go. Echono chongera, okubala gawa nange, nti, bana abantu vati anyo, epesa liya tribalism, kubanga beba number one tribalist. Meseji, jetuwa abade tuwa egwanga lionaya abade meseji yemu. Tuwa ade meseji ya mua ankore, tuwa ade meseji ya mua chigezi, meseji ya mua kasese, meseji ya mua elango, meseji ya mua busoga, nebu nyolo. Lua chibwe tuwa tuse mbuganda wano, mua kuise kusosu na mawanga. Temugamba, wano mbuganda tetu ina kogera kubisibu biru mabaganda wano. Magala kunga mba tetu ina kogera kuchiba take chigena maso mbuganda wano. Magala tuga mba tetu ina kusonga lunwe, kubusosu ze mawanga, mbumugeze mwodesa, mbuli chitongo lecha government chona. Ekisela chitu use, ekwanga nga Uganda tuogere kubusoso ze mawanga, nga tetue fenya fenya, nga tewali kutisa tisa. Njaka eno koso mkisagunu, kana kabanga, kubanga befude abawele nkunga na zafe, kubaba alabie, nga tugenda kutambula. Tugenda kutambula, tuina convention in Canada, ilangenda gena yu sinkane, haba kulembe ze bafe, neba na Uganda bali Canada. Na ye muzino wike bili. Sesi genda kubahu, njaga loko sabamu enaba na Uganda, mchitekinge upon yourself, limekuwe la dobozi li angenga chagulanyi, oba dobozi ya NUP. Mwena, njaga la mujeo obusoso ze mawanga, obuli kunze ngo mtu, obu wanga webuli. Mujeo na obusoso ze mawanga, obuli mchibuli chitongo lecha government chona. Mwena, awali ku social media, muso bolo chikola, njaga loko basabamu kube touch, kubanga chino chamu engaba na Uganda, mula vise. Then, Olufanyu malwezo wiki bili, njaga la watu ulile, nze, ne mwaimu seveni, ne government ye, bani, ba tribalisti, abatufu. So mwami kasigazi, 
Bobo gamanti Fe ito gila kumukusoso la mawanga Ogo musangu Okusoso la mawanga Musangu Njaga la muzi guleko musangu Ogo kusoso la mawanga Tule nembe na go Bwe mchiba chiba nemye Musirike muleke tubalabise Kubanga mchima nyinti mwe mchikola Na iche unyisanti Ataba abakola obusoso ze Ababu sambikolwa Ataba abuvumiri ya fe Ababu ogerako Echo techigenda kola Akokaba denga kakodio kama imu seven Ne government ye Okupractising a tribalism Atene batisa tise guanga Lyo na lyo na Bute mucho ogerako Obo chogerako wa jagamboli tribalisti Nja kucho ogerako Jage na maso chogerako Jage na basa ba mwena Mu Uganda Mucho ogerako Mula visebu liomu Nange nga mwendi Waba omu ntomu soso ze mawanga Ikisera chitu use Tu ogerako nsonge yu Ngavaguru Basebo ni banyabo Njagala okuongera okukatiriza Njiba na abasajia Bagala nyo 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 Okweka okutia kwa we Mubintuwe vya nja ulo Mbaso kakuleta Obufere Obaba terroristi Echo nechika Nibajia nibagama Ntibagala kunzita Echo nechika Kakati Besi vya mbu kutrafik Echo nechote chimeki nga makuru Nkakasa Timuike bili Setukendo kumula mu. Baja kulete vivose vila la vya nja uro. Njaga lo baso umoza mu haba polisi na mu haba sirikali. Si haba polisi haba kuma mateka. Na yugwe muami kasiga zitumusime. Na guwanga kasiga zitumusime. Je hando la wamu sebe ni umupia. Eva haba denga ina guwalo ndayo. Na hako ze soku tulugunya vana Uganda. Katika siga zi umupia. Tuwa gala uveyo. Owe insonga eze simba. Weziba zikule mie. Tula wansi unyue kumazi. Njaga lo kujukiza bana Uganda mwena no baka kasanti Tugenda batu ukako mbuli ingeri yona Tugenda batu ukako mbuli chitundu chona Tewari teka li tugana Bawa debe se Yes Mbaruwa ye ya yugedene kucho kujako government ya mseveni Tituge zako kujako government ya mseveni Yes Tetuichi kweka Tua gala kumamu lako government ya mseveni Eyaba bi Eyaba tuju Echo techime nyamateka kuma government ya msebe nteri iko kumateka Nteri iko kumateka Eira akawairu Namba satu Akase mateka Kawabuli muna Uganda inayena obu yinza In fact sibu yinza Kawabula katutika obu vunanyi ziwa Okuza o constitutional order Okuza o mfuga ea mateka Noruwe nsongeyo Echo chetuliko Ate tituge na kulekira o Paka nga msebe ni Tumaze omuja mwe yintebe Yeye changiramu Njagala ukuchidi ngana basebo ni wanyabo chibere vere kiria. Nti polisi teina buyinza bo na bo na kuwa, ku, kuwa mtulu kusa. Te wali mtuwa ina kusabalu kusa polisi. Okola ya ino kola na dalanga bili mateka. Wabula tu ina jitegeza kwa utegeza. Echoku bili tuwa gala okaka saba na Uganda. Nti polisi si koti. Mami kasika story mulamuzi. Orijasti wa polisi. Nolwe songeyo. Toina ya denovu yinza Kutaputa bie njo gede No gamba biso sola muma wanga Echo chila ganti otide Chila ganti mutide Chila ganti chuba kutawalu ababaluma Eranja galo chida I want to Let me say this again in English We are going to be away For two weeks I am traveling to Canada To attend a convention And meet other Ugandans there but in these two weeks, I want to request all of you Ugandans to take it upon yourself because, like I said, a time has come for us as a nation to have a frank conversation on tribalism and sectarianism. So I want to ask all of you brothers and sisters to use your social media, to use all the platforms to expose tribalism and sectarianism wherever it is, whether it is with me, Please expose me and expose the tribalism. If it is in any government institution, in state house, in the military, in police, in any government institution, please expose the tribalism and the sectarianism and the nepotism. And the nepotism. Expose it. Finally, um, I want to once again assure all the people of Uganda that we shall reach you. We shall come to you. Museveni and your fellow criminals, if you want to harm us, 
the world is watching you. You have tried it so many times. We are not scared of you because you cannot kill all of us. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me, for God and my country. People power. power. Our power. People power. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for putting the record straight. You know, there's one thing that uh, must come out clearly. Distortion of reality. If you have been following the debate by the NRM propaganda machinery, especially on social media and other media platforms regarding sectarianism and nepotism, you see that the trajectory is to make the victims of sectarianism believe that they are the ones in the wrong. They manipulate the reality. And one thing that we need to know about dictatorial systems, since time immemorial and world over, they survive on about three things. One, the president has talked about it, fear. Fear is the greatest war that stands between the people and the dictator. Once that war is brought down, you will see the dictatorship crumbling. Number two is manipulation of the population, and he has talked about it. Number three is to deny people leadership, the oppressed. How do you deny people leadership? Compromise their leaders. The cases are very many. Discredit leaders. When they have a credible leader like our president, call him a tribalist, call him sectarian, call him all sorts of things. Ah, the people can lose confidence in him and you continue to oppress them for more years and more years. People power, our power. Our power. People power. We are going to entertain about three or four questions from the ladies and gentlemen of the press. There is no need for questions. <laughs> yes, Josephine. Liberation talk in this country for a very long period of time. Before independence, people were talking about liberation. When we got independence, it was the state of time to enjoy liberation. When Amin came in, it was the center of up to date, we are still talking about liberation. I want to hear uh, from the president of the National Radio Platform what is this liberation talk? What is the difference behind the need this talk? And does he think if he becomes president of Uganda, will he liberate this country? Or maybe it is just a talk and the service that politicians are using to, to garner support of this country, both in English and Uganda? I'm sure he has taken note of the question, but I'm sure even the historical context you have given shows clearly that liberation is still needed in this country. <laughs> you know, every time we go to the mosque or church, they are talking about the devil. In a different word, Satan, Shaitan. <laughs> we haven't stopped because the devil is still where? He's still here. But I'm sure the president will address it very well. Yes, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, you have said that uh, you had got uh, credible information when you were in Kabari that your life was in danger. And you have also said that the police itself said your life is in danger. Um, so it means, uh, and you trusted what the other source you didn't tell us told you, and you didn't trust what the police said. But when you add those two, when both of them are talking about your life is being in danger, why do you continue doing what uh, they are saying is putting your life in danger? And number two, we don't refer to that um, when they say this is not going to happen, and you say it's going to happen, we know what, what has happened uh, as a result. There has been a lot of violence um, that the police has unleashed. Uh, you, in these two weeks, getting ready for the violence that uh, they are going to unleash for you because we know for a fact that will, that will fall. Thank you. Maybe the first report was about the police being the threat to his life. <laughs> this is the third question. Um, 
We'll take the last question. I thought you had put up your hand. Okay. I'm interested to know uh, the next course of action. The party president has come clear that he's, he's defied the police directive. So after the two weeks away, as you come back, where do you pick it from? Okay, I'm sure the president will answer that, but I think generally the indication is that our activities are continuing and we shall be able to roll out a roadmap for the next phase because our job is not done. And uh, when we do it, it's not business of police. Our responsibility is to notify them, which we have previously done, and we shall do when time is due. But uh, I'm sure the president will give the most appropriate answer. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, oh, okay, the Secretary General will answer some of the questions. People power. power. Our power. power. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the media and uh, all leaders who are here, Mr. President. And um, I just want to respond quickly to two issues. But also to talk a little bit about this uh, talk of sectarianism. And I will also remind the country that uh, there are many, many political parties that we could have used as vehicles, but we chose the national unity platform because we believe in national unity. At, at the core, that is our belief. We believe in national unity. The first value before you talk about anything else that we stand for is in our name. We are the national unity platform. And we do not just talk about it, like General Museveni has been saying. If those of you who read history, you read uh, all the books he wrote, the most important thing he emphasized was sectarianism. He was choosing uh, Obote and I mean of, of, of sectarianism and tribalism and all that. Now, because he's doing the same things, he does not want us to talk about them. So that is extremely unfortunate. If Museveni, just go and read Mission to Freedom, read uh, Sowing the Mustard Seed, if he could write and condemn those past leaders for sectarianism and tribalism and all that, why does he think it is now wrong to condemn it when he's practicing it? So it is very, very unfortunate, and uh, I think all the people of Uganda need to talk about that because we believe as a national platform in equity. We believe that all regions in this country should have an equal stake in this country. We believe that whether you are from uh, the north or from the east or from the central or from the west, you should have an equal stake in this country. We believe that all parts of this country should be developing at the same level. You cannot say that you are going to leave some regions. Uh, people have been saying we are not going to wait for Karamoja to develop. You see the, the regions like Busoga, what is going on there, West Nile and all that. We believe that national resources should go to all the people of Uganda and we make sure that we have an inclusive economic development in this country. And so, uh, those who talk about sectarianism, we are just condemning the evil that you do. The fact that in the national enterprise, if, if you look here, amongst the leaders here, and it is very unfortunate, I think the president talked about it. When he was in Renzoli, he talked about the problems affecting the people of Renzululu. He talked about the humiliation of the Omsinga. Why did they say it was sectarianism? Because he talked about it. When he went to Bugisu, he talked about Bugisu Cooperative, cooperative Union. 
and he, he stressed the challenges of the people of Ugisu that they have been going through. When he was in Busoga, he emphasized the problems in Busoga, including the prices of sugarcane, the unemployment there, etc., etc. Why did they come to talk about sectarianism at that point? Why is it that when he, when, when he comes to Luero and emphasizes the problems of land grabbing, the, the problems of uh, uh, marginalization and all that, how come now they are talking about sectarianism? So I want to emphasize that the National Unity Platform, we are not just NUP in words. We are the National Unity Platform in values, and that is what we believe in at the core. So, um, and maybe finally, and, and there's a point also about nepotism. You see, one of the biggest challenges uh, is that Museveni and his regime are trying to victimize the victims. They are trying to see those people who have been victimized and calling them the victims. It's a shame. Um, so when you think about nepotism, you just go and see, uh, from, from right from top and see the, 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 the ministries, the departments of government, where relatives, friends, cronies are scattered, you, you know, we believe in merit. We believe that people should have positions in government based on merit, not based on blood, not based on relationships, not based on kin, etc., etc. So I want to quickly uh, attempt a question from uh, our friends there about liberation. I'm sure the president will uh, adumbrate more on it. But liberation, you, you know our country is not liberated. And if you want to know that we are not liberated, you remember you the media houses were beaten up when you went to deliver, when you went to the UN to deliver a petition. That is a sign that our country is not liberated. We are not liberated because we lose 10 trillion shillings every year in corruption, which money should be used to improve the lives of our people. We are not liberated because right now police can write a letter purporting to stop activities of a legitimate political, uh, political party. That is a sign that we are not liberated. We are not liberated because our children are not able to go to school. In many parts we've been going to, you've been seeing children who drop out of school when they are very young because they cannot afford school fees. We are, we are not liberated because we're in West Nile, and West Nile is not yet connected to the national grid. Every time they are, they are suffering with power blackouts, we are not liberated because you've been seeing the expenditure of Genome 7 and State House. They are spending over 2.8 billion shillings, over 2.8 billion shillings a day when people do not have food in many parts of this country. That means we are not liberated. We are not liberated because I can go on and on and on and on. So um, those who say, uh, who ask us about liberation, we, we are fighting to make sure that all Ugandans can enjoy this country and can have an equal stake in this country. I thank you and maybe now invite uh, the president to respond to his questions. Uh, thank you. SG Aganyo Kubiza Murunyankore. Obanchi Techecho and SG Yomba. Thank you very much for uh, making it clear, Comrade uh, Secretary General. Uh, my sister Nama Kumbi asked uh, about our liberation talk. Yes, there have been many liberation phases in this country. Some of them have been fake liberations. It's not yet Uhuru. We are not yet where we deserve to be. You remember that our grandfathers and mothers had to liberate us from colonialism. And after colonialism, we celebrated briefly, and then we fell again into misrule. Um, gun rule returned. So when Museveni was fighting against uh, Dr. Milton Obote, we thought he was fighting uh, a just cause, because he convinced our fathers and mothers that he was fighting uh, against human rights violations, that he was fighting against a vote rigging, he was fighting for the return of uh, democracy and all that. But looks like it was a lie. You all remember that on the 26th of January, in fact 25th of January 1986, 25th of January, the same day that Idi Amin took over, is the same day that Museven took over. Although being the liar that he is, he lied 
he paused so that they celebrate uh, on the 26th of January. So on the 26th of January, we were captured as a country. We were lied to, tricked, and captured. So now we are fighting to liberate ourselves from gun rule. We are fighting to liberate ourselves from dictatorship, from the abuse of democracy, from vote rigging, from everything times 10 that Museven purported to fight against in the 80s. We are fighting against family rule. We want to liberate ourselves from family rule, from sectarianism, realistic sectarianism, from corruption and from land grabbing. I could go on and on and on and on. But most importantly, like it seems to be the hot issue, we are fighting to liberate ourselves uh, from nepotism and tribalism. And I will make it very clear. Some of you saw a video of an SFC soldier. And those that have not seen it, I beg you to spread it because it is exposing and spreading the truth and poking holes into their manipulations that is going to save us. Please spread that video. This SFC soldier is clearly having tribal talk that I find even filthy to repeat here on the microphone. But where do they learn it from? They learn it from the chief priest of tribalism and sectarianism. I want to make it clear that I'm not tribal. I'm not tribal. You all know my family. Did I marry from my tribe? You want to tell me there were no women in my tribe? But because I am national and I appreciate diversity, and I got my wife, my beautiful wife, from Ankole. You all remember that Museveni's son tweeted against me marrying my wife from Ankole, saying that I had to seek permission from him. You've seen all his tribal tweets that I find detesting to even repeat. But again, look at the teacher of tribalism and sectarianism. Look at how he has reduced our country to his family. His wife is a minister for education. His brother, he has the biggest budget under the guise of Operation Wealth Creation. Wealth Creation. His son, a commander of land forces, then advisor. His uh, brother-in-law, his uh, son-in-law, his brothers are the owners of the gold mines that are supposed to be national gold mines, ETC, ETC, ETC. So, Museveni, you have no moral authority to talk about that. Um, we were all, uh, also asked about the threats, but I don't think I have to attempt that because you, you were very uh, ably responded to. I mean, yes, we've had threats, but historically, threats against my life have been coming from the regime. And it's upon the Museveni regime to ensure that nothing happens to me. Because we know that any harm that comes to me will be coming from you. And you know what exactly will follow later on. Yes, sir. Sema Timba. Uh, no, before Sema Timba, again the same person, but they asked whether we are ready for the violence. We are never ready for violence. We don't want violence. We are not violent people. And as you've seen for the last close to three weeks, nothing violent has happened because the police has not unleashed violence on us. How have we been able to go around? It's not because Museveni wanted it, but we've been telling you we took Museveni, his son, and his cronies to the International Criminal Court. And we believe that because they know what that means, that's why they behaved themselves. Are we ready for violence? We are not ready. But again, like they say, give your enemy enough rope to hang himself. The world cameras are on us. Museveni, you have the right to brutalize the people of Uganda or even kill them. But everybody that unleashes violence on the people of Uganda, anybody that kills the people of Uganda, you will be personally liable. Personally liable. We told you when we were beginning this tour that you will only be giving us more evidence against you. We are law-abiding citizens, and we know that one day, one time, all of you will answer for the crimes against humanity that you have committed in the past, that you are committing now, and those that you plan to commit. 
fetubata deko kamera you can do all that you want to do yesi bimaze iyo ya icha sema timba bwe jire awi njide mu luzungu sema timba aja lugando sikidi ya muda mu luganda i esuti ya mbade katogere mu luzungu sema timba bwe jire ast uh you quoted me having said that we are ready to speak to Museveni. Oh, it was Waiswa. Oh, it was Waiswa. Lwachi ndoze bibuze biba kwa mesuti yembuza abuza. Yes, Waiswa from Busoka one uh reminded us of our mission in Uweru that we are ready to talk to Museveni. Yes. But we are not ready to discuss with Museveni them nobody Mao style. No, sir. We can only talk to Museveni when we are negotiating his exit. We don't want to imprison you. You are a very old man. We don't want to revenge because we are not vigilant. We are not vengeful. We are not like Museveni who said that he named his son uh, an avenger to avenge. We are not avengers. We want to give you chance because we know even dictators in the past like Muse like like Moi they were talked out of power logically the door is still open but it is closing soon <laughs> we can discuss with you we can give you protection we can take good care of you so that we don't have to stress with you the people of Uganda want their freedom soonest. If you want to give them freedom without a struggle, you are welcome. But if you want to be kicked out of power, we shall kick you out. Erambi de Muruganda? Muruganda. Thank you we shall announce tujja kulangirira kututandikira so mutukwate bulunji tuinza no tandikire ntebe so mutukwate bulunji eh tujja kulangirira waje tugende kutandikira na tukomyeo ah na makumbi ya buzanti tubade tugera kukwenu nula na ewa wadde phases oba emitendera jo kwenu na minji chitufu Bajaja feba ino kwenu nula okuwa mbafuzi abama tuwali abazungu. Era abazungu wetu abagoba, tuwa sanyuka, tuwa jagaza, tuwa jagaza, tuwa jaganya. Ngatumanyi tefuga bi diwe dekubanga abana abafi, badu gavana fi, bivali bachikutemu. Na echa naku unchu kwa kujaganya kwa likuwa kasera katono. Era eviwobe nevidamu. Milton Obote amini wa moja kutuwa itulo oza edembeli zeo. Ate okutulugu njizi wakwa dambu pia. So Museveni we yajja nga convince ze batata ba fenema mama fe nti agenda kulwanira democracy agenda kulwanira demeri abantu agenda kulwanira etemu no buli wenguzo kuvao twamwega tako fenna chanaku nti ali mu fere eranga ba chali kati chanaku nti yali mbalimba abantu ba fe era nga abili mu 5 mu mwezi kwa January uluna kulerumu Ulo habili mutano hili ya mindu ya wambira kone msefe ndu ya wambira kone Ni wanku wade ba kwa luru kwezi kwezi Ni bala angiri ya lo habili mokaga Na ye kale tuchituale Dikuruna kolo Lutuwa wambirwa Ilo kumale miaka asatu musambu Tubade tufugiwa kumudumu kwa mundu Ukumale miaka asatu musambu Ukule mbeze wetu inabu wa nache marira Ukumale miaka asatu musambu Obuligwe nguzi basuka Tufugiwa kumudumu kwa mundu Tufugiwa family emu Okumale miaka sabi musambu, okunye giriziwa, kususe so tuina okwe nunula na te, okwe jamu abo, haba fere, haba tulima, antibali baze tu nunula. Hiro kuongera, okuongera, kubusoso ze mawanga, obo kuwanga insongi enkuru, jemba sabi na mwe mwena mwena, mutanye, so that, ensiyo na yona emanyanga, siri gambo vya chabulanyi, wabulanga vikambo vya abuli muna Uganda yena, okufamuri joni zoneze nja ulo. Njagala, mujukire, 
nti omusirikale wa SFC nga nga convincing abanne okuwagira muhozi yakoze sa ebigambo ebisosola mawanga kiri kiria mwena mwachira ba ko ka video je kali nsaba mu demo katambuze bupia ngali mu uniform ya majege gwanga muze mulaba tweet za mutabani wa mu 7 nze mu manyi mu manyi mu chala wange na mwasa mu ankole simanyo baba anyiga bunyizi kuba nafuna yo asinga yo bulunji Ne mchala wange na mwosa mwankole Ela bantu po mwankole barunji nyo Bantu wachitibwa nyo Wade msebe ni afubie okubamba za evi soto vi abaluanyi se entalo zaabwe Entalo ze Ne bantu barunji nyo banya niliza nyo Ne kubanga kere ndaliba kurubaya Mutaba ni wa msebe ni eleako zekone tweet Nga ambu milira oloku wa sa mwankole Bunalinyi na mwevu zako Temumbu za chiche ya lianyode Sija chiba boli Elaye mtu yomu aze nga akola zi tweet ze nsaba mjeyo mongero kula genso manyaba ntuba kuno mwela bila mangu. Njaga labio na mbijeyo mwelage ani musosoze ani atali musosoze. Na hei nga buwe mbaga minti saba sosoze ye musebeni. Kumanga tunula. Nobu gagabwe guanga mbuna ya buridiu singa. Siku tribe jagamba javamu. Fabamu chetu inako kwesho ni maka ntisi javamu. Ne jagamba javamu. Ne tribe weo yenyini. Teye ya galide mbia buka gabi ya guanga Habitade mufamile ye Obwa minister Obwa education Ya buwa mchala we Obwa minister obwa lala Budget ya singo mnene mguanga Ya juwa mganda we Sare Nebe kweka mo operation wealth creation Mutama ni we Ni wanko wa data sani de Ya mufula komanda wa majego kutaka Kati presidential advisor Bako domibe Abaka abana Abaza demo bana Naba lava fana nabu ibatu Tunuli reviru mbe vya gold Vya Uganda Kati vya abaganda Bama seven ni wechita basicha Sobe chiba cha sari Wechita basicha sari Chiba cha Batu wa zenga kolo Abafi Ani sectarian Ani musoso ze mawanga Echo, njibawa ademu eba na Uganda Tu ina wiki bili Okwe exposing a tribalism Alimu guanga Tutani kila o um, Ya, mwami bate ya buza ku, Kututi sati isa kubute Chitufu Kubute mobo, batu woni ngebanga dene Na efe, tuchimanyi Kia bantu abeigeze za abeigeze za mbola mbu wangu butu wala Bantu wa mseveni Baso kakunege za mwarua Ilia esasi wili ya misinga Yasini kawumatiria misinga ilatu wa muzika da chitalo nyo Ni watu egeza mu Ebu dondo esasi ilia ita wakati wange Neonebo zake Ni reporti nyingi tuze tuziraba Muze mula baba sirikali ngaba kute mundu Ngatebali mu uniform Haba munga bamba de elementi za polisi Haba la angabali mungo ya ziri plain Na inga batambula na ba polisi Wala ba sirikali wali mu uniform Omo la la mwa mwa la vye ebombo Ya jeyo pisto Aliku kamera Bamo la ba Na ye Baga mati atefetu ino kukwata Haba kute mundu Mwari mwa gana beji nja tuwa kwate jieke Ngaba ina zi AK-47 Haba fi Omuti ya na ye na Ba food soja ba fewano Ba genze baba no nyanga Yo gede bogezi ku social media Nebamu noonya. Nebamu siba. Luachi oye musajja temuna bamu kwa tanga ne kifana nche mochina. Ye mwe batem. Ye mwe mwagalo kunte mola. Na yetu zetu wala alika. Tifetu tugenda kutia. Ze mwale mwokunte mwala miyaka abidi. Ne mwale mwokunte mwala miyaka satu. Kakati. Teri chamanyi we mwote mwala miyaka ana no musobi. Na ye. Mwumanyi chechi nzo kodako. Um, atubuza mwami bate. Nti. Tuwete gese, okutute, okututi limbula, tuwete gese, okutuku bemi goneti ya gasi, tuwete gese, violence ya polisi. Te tuwete gekira angako violence ya polisi, kubate tuja agala. Te tuko labi nabili mateka. Ilo kulaba angateba inacheba tuko ze kubanga bi tuko labi nabili mateka. Ate tu waba gama, di musebe ne mutabaniwe, neba temu bane, tu waba tu wala mkoti enzio na... Hira tukiriza, tie cheche chiba de chaba kipinge kwa di chaba kipinze, ngaba ina discipline. Tuwa galo kweba za haba sirikali na haba polisi, haba tako ze sebwa kutute mula na tutu usako mulabe. Hira tuwa galo basaba, tite muli imbibu wali imbibu ono musajja, kuwa mumulabi radala, alimu kubo elifuruma. Wabula, hira tuwa galo mute keza mwemu sebe nebane. Na habo, baka sigazi. Ba planning okoze saa, okututu saa kubo labi Tifetuwa bala alikada 
tuja gena maso nga tukola ama teka chega tukiri zokola muli badembe okututu sako bulabe bonabe mwagala na ye buli muntu ye na ina tuwagala ama nyeti kamera zensiyo na zitu tunulide o inzo kola chotu kola kokati na ye buli omu kumwe ye ngo muntu sechi nomu ajakuba nga ino kwa nukulira chako ze kuba na Uganda ekisera chija kutuka fetuja na mwetuwa lindi lide mje doza ne oh ya aa uh, waiswa kubuso kawani ya tubuza nchicho tu waga lukuo gerane mseveni kubatu waga mberu weru tutulive tegefu kukuo gerane mseveni tulive tegefu kukuo gerane mseveni obano umu ntuye na ina na esi kukuo gerane evi na evi ano batimao evi ampa ye chifo evi ankuwe yose ndemeka siye mbozi ya fe kukuo gerane mwame mseveni tu waga laku discuss inga na eko mfuru maje aitawa chiche tumu kilizo gena na cho Te, tetu wole la guanga Tetu plani inga kulive njinga Tetu ina kutu wakala kuhisa bobi Hedama emu sebe ni Tu wakala mungu kiza Choruji Lucha alirugule luko gira nafe Muru watu Elanga nesu nga zenji Tu wakala kuziri kriya zezino Na yoru joro Terugenda kuwela rugule Kumala banga dene Panache mariranga ba moi Bako zeso mungiso kusemba yo Mkwe nyonyo lako era bakirizi wakusiga na mkenya kachiri erigwe mseveni oyaga la genda burunji oyaga la genda misinde chiri erigwe mweba lenyo mweba liyetala uh, thank you very much mr president one Kindly take your seats for one minute. <laughs> yes, we shall sing the anthem. Josephine was smiling like the question was not... Uh, but the president asked me to add that the difference that our liberation has from those liberation struggles that have taken place before, ours is anchored on people. That is why we are people power. That is why we are going out there to empower the people of Uganda to stand up for their rights. We could have chosen to use other means. We are not incapable of using other means, like those who went, used guns, and things like that. But we have chosen to use the path of people power because we want this to be a liberation that is owned by the people of Uganda, that they are not betrayed like they have been pre betrayed previously. Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, when I've eaten lunch, <laughs> uh, we are going because after the anthems, we shall go. So, we'll, I will ask uh, Honorable Mwada to give us a closing prayer and then we shall do the anthems and close the briefing. Thank you very much. We are grateful for your time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya tugama mukulani tiburu na kuorucha ya noruziva abantu abana damu bali mkufafa aganibwa okuja kaba haba kutitigana ilane wanga alida kumazima ne kubugumikiliza bismillahirrahmanirrahim wale aswil inna li insana lafil huswil illa alladhina amanu amilu swalihat watawasa ubil haq watawasa ubil sabu assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Thank you very much for the wonderful prayer. The president has thanked those, profes those who acted professionally during our visits. We want to appeal to those out there in the field that when we return to the field, it is not yet too late. They can reflect on their actions. The Bible says when the sinful turn away from their sinful ways and do the right things, they will inherit the kingdom of God. So it's not yet too late for them to save their lives and do the right things. I will request uh, Honorable Shamim to give us the anthems and we close. People power. Power, power. People power. Power, power. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Now let's humble ourselves for the uh, anthems. I'll start with the national anthem. Oh, you got...
and I may go to Paul, the wheelie our future in thy hands. United free for liberty together we always stand. When the struggle is over, we shall wear the victor's crown. We shall wear the victor's crown. We shall wear the victor's crown. When the struggle is over, we shall wear the victor's crown in a new Uganda. People power. Thank you so much. and this and this 